Most cats chase laser dots. I chased the entire planet. In 1963, I was a stray cat on the streets of Paris. Weeks later, I was strapped to a Veronique rocket. Why? Because the French space program was terrified of sending a human into the unknown, and I was their test pilot. My name is Felicit. My official designation was C-341. The scientists at Francis Surma Aerospace Lab chose 14 of us strays for a specific reason. Our calm temperament was psychologically stronger than a pampered house cat's. The training was bizarre. They spun me in a human centrifuge to simulate rocket G-forces and sealed me in compression chambers. Most cats panicked. I just stayed cool. That's why I was chosen. On October 18, 1963, from a launch site in Hamagir, Algeria, they launched me 157 kilometers high. The blast-off felt like the world was ending, a deafening roar that vibrated through my bones, squishing me with 9.5 times the force of gravity. But then, the engine cut out, abrupt silence, and I started to float. For five glorious minutes, I was completely weightless. Here's the crazy part. This wasn't just a joyride. They had surgically implanted electrodes into my brain to transmit my neurological data back to Earth. They were reading my mind in space to see if a human's brain would break under the strain. Peeking through the porthole, I saw it, a giant swirling blue marble. The ultimate, untouchable cat climbed. My capsule parachuted back to Earth after a 15-minute flight. I was a hero. But for over 50 years, history forgot my name, just calling me Astro Cat. Now you know the truth. Was I a brave pioneer or an unwilling participant? Let me know, beloved.